Hey David, I uh, just wanted to go through real quick and record a video tutorial for you just to show you some of the basic stuff if you want to try to update it on your own. Uh, you know, we're always here to help with the hosting plan. We do a hour each month of support, so you can always just reach out to us if you have any questions or want to make some updates on the fly. So, uh, on your website, uh, in order to log in, you're going to go to slash admin a D M I N so dwhardscapes.com slash admin that will bring you to this screen here and I'm gonna email you a password so you can log in here once you log in you're going to see the back end of this website, which is a WordPress website. I actually updated uh, Morgan's account here and reset the password for you. So when you're logged in, you'll see some different options over on the left. There might be a few extra ones um, in my account you probably won't see as many. Uh, there's some additional ones that allow me to update the security of things and keep the website running smoothly. But the main ones that uh, you're gonna be concerned with uh, is probably the gallery, which is over here, this Envira gallery. This is what controls all your photo galleries. So when you hover over it, just click on all galleries and I have all the galleries broken down in different categories and labeled accordingly. So you have a commercial gallery down here at the bottom. You got 46 images in it currently. Your residential gallery here has 59 images. So when you hover over these, you'll see you get the edit option. You can just click on the title here. So I'll jump into the residential gallery. And scrolling down, we're going to see all the images that are currently in it. And this is the area I was talking about on the phone where you can actually drag and drop if you want to change the order. Once you have the images in here, you can move them around and sort them like that. So if you want to add additional images, you'll have a button here that says select files from your computer. Go ahead and click on that. and select all the images you can select a bunch at once and it will upload all of them right here so once you do that it's gonna add them to the bottom of the gallery so it'll put them in this section down here and then you can slide them around and drag them to whatever order you want once you get done making all your changes one really important thing to remember is click the update button that will save all your work so you don't have to do it again <laughs> So make sure you click that update button and that goes for editing pages across the site as well. Oh, another section we actually have on your website is the testimonials here. So right now we just have these two. Uh, you can add new ones here. It's pretty straightforward. Add the person's name, type the content in the area and click publish over on the right and that will publish it and automatically send it into the testimonial slider that shows up on the front of your website. Another section that might interest you is the pages section. This is where you can update some of the basic content uh, for your services, for your front page, if you wanted to change anything there. So when you are logged in, you have these black bars on the side and top. So hovering over the top left, you'll see visit site. You can just click on this and it will take you to the front of your website. But since you're logged in as an admin, you'll still have this black bar. If you want to get to the back, go ahead and just click that again and it'll take you to the back. So click to the front, click to the back. All right, so all the photo galleries, uh, with the exception of these two large images here on the front, all the photo galleries are controlled by that Envira gallery section on the back of the website. So 
So when you're looking at the different pages, if you navigate around, if you wanted to update some of this content here, you can click on edit page with whatever page you're on. Right? So if I click on edit page, I'm going to get this this page builder here where you have rows and columns that reflect the layout on the front of the website. So each one of these contains the different text boxes. So you can click on edit here and then you could edit some of that text. Click done and then don't forget to click update with anything you do. And that's the general gist of it, how to update photo galleries, add testimonials. Uh, it looks like we actually hid the testimonials because we didn't have enough. Um, that was one of the requests that came in, but it was right above the footer here. So let me know if you want me to add that back in after you add some more testimonials. We can get that testimonial slider to show up for you. And that's it in a nutshell. Just reach out if you have any questions and we'll go from there.